Alright guys, so I wanted to give you guys an update. I have my cart that I got a couple weeks back from um, Michael's and so I have this out and um, it's a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was actually going to fit underneath there, but it does not. So I um, went ahead and took out some things that I wanted to use and just kind of put them in here so that way if I do craft I can take this downstairs and have everything that I need. In here um, I decided that I was going to um, show you guys what I have as far as um, organization. I started labeling these. Um, I didn't get to label these and I didn't get to clean up this so that is going to be next um, to do, but for right now, I have these labeled and kind of organized. Um, so the first one is my beads, and I have all of my beads in here um, in baggies. These are little baggies from the dollar store, and I have some that are just like out. Um, but I do have a lot of beads, so I really have to start making some bead projects. Um, so that way I can use up my stash. So I have some of those. And then I have in here more beads. This is a little bit organized. I would like to get this up here like this. Um, because it just it looks a lot better. So I would love to um, maybe get... I might have to see if any of these will fit in here. Um, but I do have my beads that... Um, I recently got and uh, yeah so those are all in there and then in this one it is buttons and brads this one is a work in progress as well um, it's definitely a little bit challenging but I love how I can just pull these out and just kind of um, get whatever I need um, this is the brads so these are all my green brads, and then these are all my green buttons, and then I just have some that are like in baggies still, um, just because I don't have enough of these containers. So I have those in there. And then this right here is more of my brads and buttons left over. And then I have a bag full of butterflies, and then I have some bows. So these are just like either handmade bows or just like um, regular bows. So I want to keep them separate. And then here's like a little container for like little bows, which should probably just go in here. Here we go. So I have those in there. And then in this drawer I have, um, let's see, this is like a whole bunch of stuff in here. So in this bin right here I have some tassels. I have um, my paper. This is actually um, acrylic and uh, flare. So I don't have a whole lot. So, and then these are paper clips. If you can see, I have them organized. And then these are um, whatever those things are called. Um, I can't even remember those. And then I just have like some odds and ends in here. So this is like a whole bunch of things in this drawer. And then in this one, I have, this is a miscellaneous drawer because I just don't know what to call this. So I just have a whole bunch of bags full of um, just like little tiny uh, embellishments that are just color coded and so I really, I I don't know, I want to get those bins, the clear ones that were for my buttons and brads so that it's easier for me to actually like look through and see what I have. Um, but yeah, this is just like kind of a free for all kind of thing, um, just different colors, all color coordinated. This one right here is handmade embellishments. So I just have, these drawers are a little weird, but I just have my chipboard in here. So I have my handmade chipboard, which I actually might put in on my cart. So 
so that way I can start using these up. And then I have um, some embellishments. I have some, you know, just like things that I have made recently um, that I kind of want to use. Um, either I'm going to probably do some racks or um, swaps. So definitely want to use them up. And here's like my my envelope. So it's like a whole bunch of like dainty things. I love this drawer though. Um, and here is my sequence. This is not all of my sequins. I actually have a um, thing over here, right here, that is full of sequins, if you can see. So um, this would not fit in here. And I do have some sequins that actually are just, they're, they're fitting in these small containers. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of using them this way. And then these are all just like bag sequins um, that I have. So this is all just like all kinds of stuff. So that is it. Um, the bottom drawer, actually, let me show you one more drawer, is actually my leftovers. I have this blank. Oh, I'm really sorry about the squeaking. It's like if these drawers are heavy, then they squeak. So this one's really heavy. Um, I have all of my leftover or my extra um, glue, like my glue sticks. I have some chop dots. I have just like these extra glue um, APGs. So I have a couple in my cart, but I don't want them all in my cart. So I put them in here. And so that is how I'm organizing my embellishments so far. Um, I do have these labeled, um, so I went through my Halloween, I have a month by month, which I still have to do, like, I think July and June and August, so I definitely have to, um, get them done this month, and then I have birthday, like, these are just, like, grouped wedding and then Christmas, and then this one right here is actually one that I'm working on, so it's the, uh, head up in the clouds. So yeah, guys, that is it. Um, my next thing would be to do is um, label all these. I did go through and um, pull out my other bins that I had. And so I need to label these and then go through this. So, and I also need to add a little bit more to my cart. I want to like watch some videos to kind of see what people have in their cart um, because I do um, want to take this downstairs and I feel like it would be functional to take it downstairs and have everything in one place and then that way um, it's easy. So um, let me know down below what you guys put in your cart so I can get some ideas. Right now I just have like some pens, my scissors, some glue sticks, some glue, and then just like some odds and ends that I have like left over um, that I want to use. I have my corner round and then I just have a couple of pieces of um, foam and some pop dots and some of this paper and just that's really it right now. And then down there I just have these kind of chilling. Um, I don't know if I want to keep them one here. Uh, I do want to start using them a lot more, so I could, and I just have my big stuff down here, so I don't know. I'm debating because I don't know if I want to keep my washi in this thing right here, because I really want to use my washi. I found that I just, I don't use it that much, and so I was thinking about putting it in here and like putting it around, um... I've seen some people like put it around like a piece of string and just kind of have it all together. I don't know. I am just playing around with the ideas right now, but yeah. And that is my space so far and I'm loving it. And so next will be to go through these and label them and then get rid of this because 
yeah, I need to get rid of that and I need to, I'm going to try not to make you guys sick. Um, that was actually underneath of my table. Um, I need to get into here. This is my closet and I would love to get a, um, like two, uh, what are those things called? Like cube things. So that way I can have this kind of organized a little bit better because right now it's just a mess. I have space in there, but I would love to get it organized and then that way I can um, take that and like put that in my daughter's room and yeah. So this will probably be the next thing that I'm going to be working on after I get through all of this. So I hope you guys enjoyed my embellishments. Um, and how I organize them. Let me know down below how you organize your embellishments and let me know what you guys put in your um, little thing. I love it. I love the mint and the pink it is probably my favorite two colors together. Um, I do want to eventually get ones of like these that are not all the same but like you know coherent together um and kind of go through all of these because like right now this is my sticker one so I have like all my stickers in one drawer and then these are all my flowers and then these are all of my stamps and just like inks and stuff like that and then this is all of my ribbon which is crazy how much ribbon I have and twine and then this is more of my or my um what are those things called those things whatever they are punches so and then there's like n nothing in those two I think there might be cards in one and then I have page kits I was gonna I was gonna wait to give you guys a little tour of this but I guess I can show you guys um, this one right here is Stella's stuff, so I need to actually go through this and, um, kind of see what she has in here because some of the stuff, I, I don't even know what it is, but yeah, I need to go through that. And then I have all of my binders and everything, and so I'm going to do the whole bottom one binders and then probably maybe like two in the middle more binders I don't know I don't know how I'm gonna organize this it's still all up in the air but I do have labels on that and I am excited so I appreciate you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye